Hello everybody, welcome back to No Man's Land, where our goal is $10 million or FS25, whichever comes first. So I want to give a shout out real quick to uh, um, Farm Sim Universe. He noticed that I was asking for a way to ship eggs to, um, to the donut factory as opposed to the mayonnaise factory. The mayonnaise factory was getting all the eggs. The donut factory was getting very few and i'm ashamed to admit that i i noticed it but i never really needed it so i never questioned what it was for but there is a priority system if you have production revamp installed so if i go in here to my productions and i've already played with this a little bit and then realized that i was wrong and done some research so i am going to go over here to mayonnaise i'm going to go to eggs and i'm going to set leave this at priority 10 and then i'm going to go over here to my donut factory oh i think that's at the top isn't it so we'll go to the donut factory and we're going to set the priority of eggs at one lower takes priority so if i set eggs at priority one any eggs coming out of our chicken pen are going to go to this production until it's full and then after it's full, it will then go to our mayonnaise production, which also, let's see, how many does it hold? Yeah, this holds 100,000 liters of eggs. So it's probably, we're just gonna set the, um, the donut factory to priority one. It'll fill up at 15, and then it'll start sending eggs over here. The problem now is that we just don't have enough eggs. Uh, we've only got 3,000 liters in here, we've got no eggs at all in here and uh our chickens are are we just don't have enough chickens we've only got 500 chickens here so we're definitely going to have to uh put in a different chicken pen i'm gonna leave this one here and leave it sending eggs as long as this pen has food and then we'll sell all the chickens and take the pen out but that means we have to find a new place for a, a bigger chicken pen so I want to make sure that our chicken coop is still close to the silo and the house and, and everything else. I don't want to get it too far away. So I want it somewhere here in the yard. Even if I took this out, it, it's not the, the, the chicken coop that I want to use is not going to fit here. So I need to find a, a different place. And I think the only place that makes sense is this area right over here either here or behind probably right here let's take a look the production that i want to use is from the uh fed action mods it, the look up fed action it's a it's a huge german um group of uh, farm sim players and they make a lot of their own mods and they make a lot of maps and um, it, it's just it's a they're all great well now I was looking at this before and I did not notice this how much of a bother would it be if it were right here I don't think that would be a bother at all, and that our chickens have a whole lot of shade. So that's where it goes. Not quite straight with everything else, but it's not going to get in the way of the, um, of the field. It's going to be fairly easy to feed our chickens. So let's get a track out to it. We'll just make ourselves a little track. There's one tree there that we need to take down. But I'm, I, I feel like we, we needed to take that down anyway. <laughs> that tree was going to get in the way. Actually, there's probably two here that we need to take out. So... I am going to just delete these and not feel too bad about it.
we have plenty of money. I know it's a waste, and I know that's just going to make people cringe, but we have other things we need to do. Logging takes time. It's kind of a labor-intensive thing. And I feel like you really have to like it in order to do it for any sustained amount of time. All right, that ought to do it in that direction. We really need a road going back in this direction too. We can get through here. Feed the chickens. We'll have a we'll have a, a production there to send our eggs where they need to go, so we don't really need to worry about that. Plenty of room here. There are the toothpicks. And this should give us a nice clear path back to where we need to go. And we still have a ton of trees to look at, so it still looks pretty. All right, that ought to do it. That gives us a nice driving path all the way around. Now, the only thing we don't have at the moment is chicken food to, to fill it up with, but when we sleep tomorrow, that field's gonna be ripe and this field's gonna be ripe. So we're gonna sleep and then we're gonna do some harvesting. All right, we have a canola field that's ready to harvest, and we have a sorghum field that's ready to harvest. We're going to start with the sorghum field so that we can add our chickens, and then we will move on to the canola. We're already making mayonnaise, so... We'll take care of donuts next. Well, I thought I had smoothed that, but apparently not quite enough. And it looks like we're going to need to spray for weeds at some point in the near future. Whoops. Watch what you're doing, Dave. Me looking at the weeds. 
rubbernecking. Get past this tree. Move it up. Move out a little bit. And then let a worker go. the worker keep going and we're gonna take our sorghum over here to our new chicken pen we have 31,000 liters already I don't remember exactly how much this chicken coop holds so we'll see Like I may have to do a little smoothing over here too. Not too much. All right, let's see. Uh oh. What? Why? I can't move. Did I get caught in the? Okay. <laughs> that was very odd. We're gonna pretend like it didn't happen. I have to go past this. I think. There we go. Okay. So we're going to buy 12, well, we can buy a thousand right now. So we'll buy a thousand. This is a really good mod. Um, I want to say it's called move a thousand animals, something like that. So um, check it out. It's nice not to have to, to buy chickens just a few at a time. So, all right, we have 1,200 chickens. We have 31,000 liters of food. Let's see. There we go. So, yeah, it looks like it holds about 50,000 liters. And they eat 18,000 liters a day, which means we're going to need to fill this up four times a year. Four to five times a year. I think we can do that. If not, we can always buy some chicken food. And then uh, over here, once they run out of food, we're gonna go ahead and sell these guys. I mean, I guess we could keep them, but they eat 86,000 liters 
of food a year. I'm not sure we can. That's almost 300,000 liters of sorghum a year. I'm not sure we can manage that much. We'll see. But I think when they've run out of food, we're going to go ahead and sell them. We can always add another one of these guys if we think we can produce that much chicken food. I'm going to move this truck, or tractor. Truck. Don't pay any attention to me. I have no idea what I'm saying. All right. Let's do some landscaping. Just a little bit of smoothing. So we don't have a lumpy road right here. It kind of sunk the chicken coop down because it wasn't completely level. That'll do it. That's nice. Same thing there. That looks great. And we're going to install... one of our um, automatic shipping of animal products and put that guy right there so it doesn't really get in the way of our I, don't, I have no idea whether that's straight or level or whatever but I'm going to put it right there and we can still get past it with the tractor and the trailer to feed the chickens so it's all good All right, and then we need to go into that production and have it distribute eggs. All right, we're good to go. We should have eggs headed to the donut factory very, very soon. So I'm gonna finish harvesting this field and I'll get back to you. I'm going to take over here and do Tree Island. You know, I'm looking at it. I like the trees. They add color. And they don't really take up that much of the field. And the only real problem I had with them was when I was planting. So I think if I take these little trees around the outside out, especially these two guys right here, then Tree Island is not going to be quite as big of an obstacle. I just kind of like the way it looks. So let me know in the comments, what should I do? Should I leave Tree Island or should I take out Tree Island? that tiny little piece got it that was 0.2 liters <laughs> it does it picked up that little piece and it put this giant shower of sorghum in the bin This is where you start to realize the the value of the Misty Cat mod with the big windrows on the side. <laughs> it doesn't matter where your swat, straw swat goes. It doesn't matter. 
you're still going to do the whole field in about 45 seconds. All right, we're back to the boring up downs now, so I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. So it looks like we ended up with somewhere around 75,000 liters of sorghum out of this field. And then probably, I'm guessing, 25 or 30 out of the other field of sorghum. So I, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay to get the 300,000 liters that we need a year to feed our chickens. All right, I'm going to get this straw picked up and I'll get back to you. Well, I didn't hit record in time, but we got uh, about 350,000 liters of straw there. So we'll be making silage to send over to the methane plant. Speaking of the methane plant, we are going to get the going to get the harvester put away and then we're going to get a load of things to sell i think pretty soon we may be wanting to to trade this harvester in our fields are getting pretty big and it would be very nice to have something with a larger capacity sorry if the game sound got very loud there <laughs> I had my speakers up and I think my microphone can pick them up And I'm working on sound. It's changed some. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, it could either be the update to the Elgato software or an update to OBS, but it my, my filters don't sound like they used to. My filters ain't filtering like they used to. And of course, I'm still having the lag issue with the universal auto load. But I can live with it. All right, so we're gonna grab methane first. Oh, I hope I got it close enough. I did. All right. Wonder how much methane is in there. A lot. <laughs> Looks like it was full, and we had 80,000 kilograms. That's different. Okay. Wow, it's either even measuring kilograms in the... Uh, down in the uh, 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 meter. Wow. Sorry, folks, it's getting a little late. <laughs> So it looks like we're just going to have 80,000 liters of methane to sell every day as long as we keep feeding it silage. And as long as we keep harvesting these giant fields, uh, we'll have plenty of silage. I don't think we're going to need to mow anymore. So we, uh, we may look into selling our mower. I mean, we don't really have... There it goes. Sometimes Universal Auto Load gets stuck. Any more mayonnaise in there? Come on. There we go. 
Okay. <laughs> there it goes. I don't know. It's a mystery. Let's see if it works up here. Nope. But shift R will work. So my my keys that I mapped to do this are are not working. Oh, and I still have three more crates of donuts to sell, but I have no more room for them. We're going to try this frustrating exercise here. We're going to try to put these on to a... Oh, Lord. If we can get past the lag. And see if we can put these on here without them... falling off immediately. If you get it up high enough and you get it over where you're trying to put it and then bring it down, that usually works pretty good. But universal auto load trailers do not want to be overloaded. <laughs> Looks like the lag kind of worked for us that time. Come on, you can do it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and the lag is gone. All right, let's go sell a bunch of stuff. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh. No, I want to turn that over. Donuts is accepted here. <laughs> What's not accepted here is good grammar. All right, so that's about $358,000 for, for donuts and mayonnaise. And let's see how much we make from the methane. Hopefully this will take us over a million. Yep, $106,000 for man for uh, methane and we're over a million dollars. One down, nine to go. I have a feeling we're going to get there a lot sooner than I thought we were. So I think that's going to do it for today's episode. If you like this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription. If you did not like this video, please post a comment and tell me why. Either way, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time.